This brief video will discuss a few of the last remaining electronic features that I don't believe were covered in any of the uh, previous driving videos or the walk around video. So we are in the garage, doors are down, uh, so we'll have a little bit of echo and uh, some exaggerated sounds off of the uh, hard surfaces, but uh, I wanted to demonstrate those last uh, few features. So uh, let me start with the um, added, uh, I'm assuming it's aftermarket, it doesn't look, uh, it doesn't look factory, uh, the four-way hazard uh, feature that's actually uh, pretty slick. So uh, I don't think any of the original cars came with that, but it works fantastic independent of whether the car is on or off. Um, and it actually looks really, really nice. It, it, it looks kind of period. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see there. I do have the lights on in the garage, but it has a kind of matching script um, to the rest of the controls in the car. So uh, we've got that. The rest I'll have to kind of turn the car on. So we'll be brief with that as the fuel pump runs. So uh, the red light there uh, to the left in the tack, uh, that goes out, I believe that's uh, the alternator light. And as you can see, the uh, oil pressure gauge light goes on. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work the defogger as I don't believe that was uh, the rear electronic defogger and you can see that that light corresponds to that. So we'll go ahead and also uh, run the fan which along with all the rest of the electronic sorting um, has uh, been I guess tweaked, resolved, whatever way you want to put it, but it blows pretty well. So. Then I've preemptively pulled uh, the wipers up and we'll go ahead and uh, turn those guys on and you can see them flapping away there. And then last and certainly not least, uh, the really slick feature of the uh, city horn and highway horn cell. Just fantastic.